tonight we're back at it here in the exact same location and I really do hope that uh, for all of you who are here right now in this video um, that you have seen the uh, the previous video this is kind of like a part two this is where I get my fucking revenge all right and we're using a TAC 50 here so you know that that thing is gonna give me great fucking results all right this thing's one shot on wolves as well as sentinel and uh, you are gonna see me here take down this uh sentinel here but i just wanted to see if maybe that was also a target right there but it's not and the flare kind of made sure of that so let's do it let's hit him Take your elements and set in over there. Night Go vision on. on route. I'm just looking around back here because I I thought I heard like a voice or something. But, uh, it's looking nice and clear. So, uh, yeah, no one back there either. Alright, well, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Okay, well, you know what? Let's get back onto this little, uh, little ledge here. Lay down and get into a nice little spot, see what we can do here. Let's just quickly get eyes on, uh, all the targets that are at the back on the facility. All on the catwalks, on those fucking... Those, I guess, those pillars, those columns filled with whatever. Who knows what they are? Um, but yeah, this this chemical facility. I know these are all sulfur deposits around this area, and it's a very sulfur-heavy area. So perhaps maybe they're doing something with sulfur in this chemical refinery here. Um, but uh, we don't get we don't get too much of a good view here. So if we're gonna climb this uh, little hill here, wrap around, and there should be a little flat spot where we were at in the last video. And I'm gonna perch myself there and fucking start to snipe. <clears throat> Fuck. I had a little burp cough there, whatever that was, but, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's climb over. And, uh, I think from here, like right on this rock right there. I need you to sit in a new position. Over there. Sometimes there's foot patrols back here, so that's why I'm doing a double check. Because if we can remain stealth, we will. But again, we need to deal with this behemoth, guys. Because if we go and we move in first and clear out those guys, there's a high chance we get spotted. And then once we're there, we're stuck there. And then reinforcements will kick in, wolves. But anyways, man, we are going to stay up here. And we're going to hit this fucking drone with my team down below. And we're going to cover both angles here. Look at those fucking guys running down. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure, we'll check them on them, make sure they get into a good spot after. But uh, again, we're going to deal with the behemoth first. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to have to hit it in those soft spots. But let me take out this fucking wolf right here. Let me try to remove all targets on this kind of walkway here. Um, that way they don't see the teammates. And then the guys at the far end, they probably won't see the team. So if we can clean up whoever's on this area here, which I believe is just the wolf and that one sentinel there who's standing. Oh yeah, another wolf up here. We get the flare on, it'll help light them up for us. Um, but yeah, so uh, we do have a couple targets around there. Shouldn't be a big issue. I mean, once we do open up on the behemoth, everyone will open up on us. And everyone will start to scatter and more infantry will pop up and, and stuff. So let's just see what these guys are going to be doing here. Let's watch their movement. I might even take the guy on Overwatch here. Um, but uh, I really don't want to. Look, he's already moving. I think he's heading back down. Yeah. Yeah, he's heading back down, so you know what? Let's, uh, 
Yeah, I'm being a little extra cautious here, guys, all right? Again, I'm getting my fucking revenge, but I can't get my revenge if I'm dead. So, see how it goes here. All right, yeah, see, these two guys are lined up. This is why it's good to watch movement paths, especially when you're sniping. You get a sense as to where enemies will end up. Like, now we know that this guy here will be bouncing between that top ledge as well as that bottom post. And then this guy here is just going to constantly go back and forth, back and forth. So I've marked him for our team here. And uh, I'm going to take this guy. So it should be a nice, clean double takedown, all right? So I'll get this guy here. I might miss, but whatever. If I do, it is what it is. We're going to have to... Yeah, fuck. Of course, he, of course I fucking missed my, my second, third shot of the day. Okay, and we have an automatic turret that's opened up here as well. Uh, but we don't need to worry about him. Okay, we seem to be far enough where... Oh, okay, no, we're not. We're not. See, yeah, the behemoth knows. The behemoth will know exactly where you are. And he's probably going to mortar this position anytime now. Let's double check here. Yeah, there's still no one by the entrance there. It looks nice and clear. All right. Um, see what we're up against here. So these guys have definitely moved to cover or something because they aren't popping out anymore. Now, one of the beauties, guys, of... Oh, fuck, yeah, look. This is gonna be an explosive fucking uh, episode, I'm telling you now, but uh, yeah, we gotta start to hit this thing right in those kind of soft spots, but let me fucking take this, uh, oh shit, yeah, I gotta take the suppressor off, because uh, again, we're going loud now, and uh, like I said, guys, we're not gonna be able to do stealth here today, we're gonna just have to uh, fucking try our best here, but again, I'm getting my revenge, and I am not gonna fucking fail, trust me, I will not fail. I'm not going in with a fuck. Yeah, we got targets pushing up here. But just like that, the TAC-50. Zero fucking. It's effortless, man. It's fucking effortless. Let's get these guys to open up. And uh, again, I got to take this fucking suppressor off. I forgot to earlier. All right, here we go. Let's fucking hear this beast. Any more targets pushing up? Yeah, one behind that rock. Yeah, look, luckily we have uh, enough stims this time around. Let's get this fucking rocket guy wherever he's at. You know what? I'm gonna draw his fire, so if the rocket guy keeps firing, then we can figure out where he is, and then I can take him down. Fuck. And we'll Watch also do that with the- oh. Man, these, these fucking... This behemoth is constantly on my ass, man. Holy fuck, dude. It's gonna be a, an, an intense, action-packed fucking episode. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, fucking... Our team is down here, and they're... Oh, fuck. All right, well, you know what? The team should be good on their own. I'm going to keep on focusing on this fucking... On this fucking rocket launcher guy and take him down right here. Perfect. And then the sniper up top. Perfect. Just like that. Two targets down. See what else we're dealing with here.
Boss, you're not looking good. I'll take care of you. Good to go. Now get some. Ready to rock. Orders, get down now. Order fire coming in. And just like that, it's fucking done. And now we have just infantry to deal with all the way up here with our TAC-50. Look, that wolf is hiding from us too. He just ran behind there. Can't see him here. Let's see if maybe he pops his head out. But just like that, the behemoth's done. And now you just gotta deal with ground targets. And you and your squad will make quick work of them. Don't you worry. Especially if you're, again, with a sniper rifle. Um, it's kind of a cheat, you know? It's not a cheat, but it, it's a it's a tactical move, I'd say. It's a very smart tactical move to fucking use a sniper rifle uh, playing with a full team here. Um, because you guys can cover a lot of ground and again you can make your team move up and fucking let them focus on certain spots and that's why again we were successful in this play session as opposed to my previous one where I tried even using the Pathfinder drone, the Amaros drone to hit it with fucking missile strikes in attempts to weaken its armor which you can do. Um, you can actually do that and then do the sniper method but you saw how effortless it was with the sniper. And it seems like that wolf is actually gone here because remember he ran in there and took cover but yeah he's gone. Alright, well, I'm back here again. I did another jump cut. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of wanted to just do a little bit more sniping here, really use the TAC-50 just a little bit longer. Um, I feel like my revenge video was just too short. Uh, clearing that area was too short. We went loud and shit, but I'm actually going to show you guys what it might be like if you try and do the infantry first and ignore the behemoth and try and do some stealth sniping. So that's what we're doing here now. Um, sorry to fucking keep redoing the same area so many times, but I feel like there's a lot of great opportunities here. And because I love the look of this area, it's just makes some for some really nice clean shots, man. But yeah, it's, this is a place that's ripe for sniping. And we're going to do some more coordination in our sniping here, all right? I know I was kind of soloing it a lot and playing a little dirty just now uh, prior to this cut. But uh, I really wanted to, again, uh, use my team in more of a tactical way. I really want to use the, um, the marking and taking down of my squad um, and do some coordinated kills with them. So that's what we're going to do here before we do end it because I didn't want the video to end too quick. Um, I wanted to give this uh, TAC-50 a little bit more of a spotlight because I guess this is a spotlight on the TAC-50 now to show you how versatile it is as a sniper. Yes, it's beefy. Yes, it's fucking huge and big and fucking monstrous. But again, you can't defeat, guys. Nothing defeats the fact that this thing is a one-shot kill on absolutely everything. Everything is one shot. Every type of infantry. So you're fucking golden with this thing. It's such a fun fucking gun, man. It's a fun sniper rifle that absolutely you should use um, above all the other sniper rifles in this game. I actually, I don't want to say that because there's, there, can, there can be a lot of fun in the other ones, especially like the Scorpio or whatever. All, all the other snipers can be fun too, um, but the TAC-50, man, it's just such a beefcake. And uh, let's turn the Fleer on and take this guy out first here. I'm wearing mine. Show you how it's done. All right, cool, man. So not to, again, not to try and make this thing all be repetitive and hitting the same fucking dudes over and over, but... Uh, uh, let's, I, I, again, I really want to get some nice, clean fucking shots with this thing, alright? And, uh, we are gonna try and remain stealth for the most part, just to get a few nice kills, and, uh, we'll see how it goes, man. So, what you saw, when you do the behemoth first, then you can succeed. But if you ignore the behemoth and you start to drop dudes, there's a big high chance that you will get spotted. And it looks like we got a nice a little fucking glitch there. We got a nice ripe two targets right here. Um, so I've marked one of them and I'll take the other. And this is exactly what it is that I want to fucking capture here today. Nice and clean, just like that. Two targets down, and, uh, should be more. You guys already know. We already know. We've been here multiple times now. Yeah, that fucking behemoth is still, uh, he's still, uh, unawoken, so that's good. And yeah, put your weapon mastery guys fully upgraded on the sniper rifles. Put, always fully maximize your weapon masteries if you're if you're able to um, on all the like slots. You know, like if you're running ace assault rifles, you don't have enough to fully do the entire board. Just just retract them and put them all on assault rifles or put them all on sniper rifles. Um, but yeah, this uh, this behemoth, this chunky fucker, he's uh, he's on awake. So he's, well, he's awake, but I mean, he's not like woken up and that's why I'm proning right now. I don't want him to see me. I don't know if I'm blending in or not, but 
It's another thing. This game doesn't do that. It doesn't your, your your outfit doesn't make you blend in more than another thing. I could be wearing fucking red clothes right now. It wouldn't make a difference. Um, so that's one thing, again, hopefully in the next game that we've all touched upon. But yeah, look, we got our fucking team ready to go here on these rocks. All three of them here. Yeah. We're all in a good spot here. We're ready to fucking take these guys on. But let's do some more coordinated kills now. See what we're, see what we're up against here. Yeah, one target up here on the catwalk. Another one up there. Fuck, man. Activating night vision goggles. You know what? He's moving, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, but let's try and get more coordinated kills happening here. Looks like our team's all moved up with me, and uh, I do see movement down there. It's that wolf. See, he keeps going to that same fucking spot. Right there. Should we fucking shoot him? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I feel like if I shoot him, then fucking someone will get spotted. Let's move these guys up. We'll get a little closer. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Should be a, a target beyond these uh, fences here. I'm gonna put my FLIR on, put my fucking heads inside one of these guys. Um, what a fucking mess of catwalks and railings and fucking... Alright, let's get this fucking guy now, what do you think? Nice one shot. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Center mass, he's done. Kind of a slow death, man. He probably felt every fucking part of that pain of that shot. All right, um, no one's up there. Um, I do see movement still up ahead. And uh, again, let's turn this flare on and let's see who's beyond this fence here. One target, nice and clean. All day, baby. All right, two more targets here. Let's do a coordinated kill. I'll, I'll take the guy in the foreground. Uh, squad will take the guy at the back. Ready to fire. Engaging. Nice and fucking clean, man. Well done. Sniping's fun. I don't do enough of it. I think I'll do a uh, sniper... Um, uh, actually, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I do a lot of DMRs, and DMRs and snipers kind of go hand in hand. Very similar experience, especially when you pop a big-ass fucking scope on him. I know I tend to lean more in on those DMRs because I feel like they're more versatile. If I get opened up in a fight, I can rely on that as opposed to attack 50 in your hands. can get a little bit beefy and a little bit... Um, Kind of big for when you're in CQC, but if you can kind of keep your distance, then you can, of co you can of course, take these guys down just like that. All right? Let's push up into this fence here. Anytime now, I'm waiting for this fucking behemoth to open up on us, though. I'm telling you right now, it's going to open up on us. And that's, why, again, why. I'm going to keep repeating it. Why you should clear out the behemoths first before trying to move in here and tackling the, uh, the, the, the ground targets. Because I, I know I said in my previous video, you should try and stealthily remove all this, the targets and then leave the drone for the last. But I would say just fucking go loud, take that pack 50 fucking take that suppressor off, and just do what we did at the start, all right? That's the perfect way to fucking deal with this shit. Um, but right now we're just having a little fun with the TAC-50 guys, as you can see. Um, we're, we're just having a little bit of fucking fun with it. But this is where uh, the TAC-50's reliability starts to diminish when you are in CQC like this. When it gets real fucking tight, it becomes not something you want to lean on. Um, I'm probably going to end up switching to my pistol if I need to. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I, th I think the drone is starting to open up now because I hear him making noise. It's almost like he hears your footsteps. I'm pretty sure it hears your footsteps. If you start to run and you're not crouch walking or you don't have those fucking... Yeah, we got targets up here. Yeah, look, see, he's just right by the wall on the other side. Um, and there's no one here. So, yeah, we've, we've cleared up the infantry here. But, yeah, he's on the other side of that wall and he is... He's aware. He knows that there's some walking and movement. Um, and there's this uh, fucking wolf right here that we need to take down. I could mark him for my team and not worry about it, but I think I'll, I'll go for that kill. And uh, we'll go up there and see what happens. This fucking behemoth's opening up, man. I hear all those sounds. Fuck. It's a fucking wolf ad. We'll take him down. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> this is why I say it's just not good to take a, a sniper rifle into CQC, man. It's just not worth it. 
so I predict that this video will come to a close very soon. Um, because, uh, fuck, uh, they're pushing up on me here. Fuck! The railing, of course, in my way, but look at that one shot. This thing is like a shotgun in CQC, man. If you can get your sights set straight. Um, but, uh, we're not safe here. If I go down there, I'm on the same level as the fucking drone, so that's not good either. And over here, I'm getting fucking shot at from the top. Probably should have, uh, hung back a lot more and tried to pick off some targets a little bit more, but... It is what it is, man. Um... You guys are probably bored of the same fucking area constantly. <laughs> Anyways, this is exactly it. I'm just trying to prove my point. This is why you should hit, um, do what I did at the start. Focus on that, because if you try and go in there and you try and stealthily remove these guys, it just won't work. Uh, things will open up. Fucking heavies here, we got wolves here. He's done, but I'm gonna get dropped in any second now. Any fucking second now, yeah, it's just like that. Fuck. But anyways, guys, I'm probably going to just end it here because it's once I get picked back up, I'm going to fucking get dropped immediately and, and die. Uh, so again, guys, I hope you did enjoy these last couple videos. A little bit uh, unconventional in terms of what I normally put out. Um, we had a little bit of fun here these last couple play sessions, all right? I got to take a look at the uh, SCAR CQC as well as the TAC-50. And I showed you guys again the way that I would approach this behemoth at the chemical refinery, the chemical factory, whatever the fuck this place is called. And uh, overall, guys, great. Two weapons are both great, the SCAR CQC um, and the uh, TAC-50, both solid weapons. Again, use them to their strengths and you'll have the best results. Again, you don't want to take a TAC-50 into a fucking situation like this because uh, I can't even move, man. I'm fucking done. But anyways, guys, that's it for me here today. And as always, thank you for watching and take it easy.